Hello, what's that? Triple O Seven, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys the tricks that I use to get faster downing of torrents. So this video might be pretty long, and I will have basically a written version of this in the description below. So feel free to pause the video and read that if you're more interested in the words. And about that, I'm going to uh, talk to you guys about increasing torrent speeds. So I'm not going to come out and say you're going to get a certain amount faster, like 100% faster or 200% faster, like some videos, I'm going to come out and say, you will see a increase. How much it is, I can't tell you. Um, when I did this, I got a double increase in speed. I did my one friend's computer. He went from getting about five, half a megabyte download to about one and a half. So for him, it was a great improvement. You know, you can save days on downloading a torrent. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for this video. Feel free to leave your result in the description below if you follow the video, and we'll get started. So the first thing I'll talk about is what is a torrent. Now, about.com has a sweet article talking about what a torrent is. Now, a torrent basically is a file by, it works by downloading small bits of files from many different sources on the web at the same time. So it's pretty simple to use. You don't have to set this up. It just pulls them in. Now, I'll have that link in the description below if you're interested in more about it. At the same time, you're downloading a bunch of different files from different sources. You're also uploading. So the same people that you're downloading from are also taking from you. Next thing I'll talk to you guys about is your internet service provider. Now, the person that you pay monthly for your internet service um, has a certain cap on how much download you have. So, for example, you may have 3 megabytes per second. And normally, you will never actually reach what your service provider offers just because of many different factors. So let it be known, let's say you have a 3 megabyte download per second, you'll probably never even reach 2.5. Just saying. Now, I've seen people who have like a 40 megabyte download and only get to like 5. So let it be known, though, whatever you have, don't expect to reach it. As well as if you have a very low amount, expect a slower download. Whereas if you have a higher amount, you should expect a faster download. So the next thing I'll talk to you guys about is the program that you use. Now that I believe there's actually 50 different torrenting programs you can use. The one I personally use is BitTorrent. Works awesome. I think it's really simple to use and I suggest it for anyone who wants to try it out. If you have one that you currently like already, feel free to stick with that one. But if you don't have one or you're not sure which one to use, or you want my opinion, try out this one. As well as I have a lot of awesome tweaks at the end of the video that work on pretty much all bit all torrent applications, um, but the main different areas. So if you really want to follow this video to an absolute point, then try out BitTorrent because that's what I'm using to tweak it. So with that, we'll go ahead and open up BitTorrent and get right to the video. So the first thing I'm gonna talk to you guys about is finding the right torrent. You may find silly, but finding the right torrent actually can really increase the speed. So here I have a need for speed torrent. Now if you go into the info tab at the bottom of the thing and you scroll down to pretty much the bottom, you will see hash. Hash is basically a bunch of numbers and letters. Now if you right click hash, you can actually copy it to your clipboard. Which I want you to do now is open up Google Chrome or whatever program you want to use to search the web and literally just paste in that hash on Google search. You will notice that your torrent will come up. Along with that, you will see the same torrent but in different locations. What we're looking for here is the fastest and the best torrent. So here we have the torrent, same one but different versions. What you want is the one with the most people. So find a website that has a bunch of the torrents, for example, the Pirate Bay or whatever it may be. And what you want to do is basically find the one torrent that has the most amount of downloads or most amount of cedars and leechers. So here in the Pirate Bay, you can see the cedars on this one is 886 and the leechers is 2952. The more there is, the better. So if you find a website that has a bunch of them listed, find the one with the most amount of people the highest number possible and use that one. 
The more people there, the more faster it is because there's more people sharing the files. All right, so now we've pretty much found the fastest torrent available. You should see a slight increase right away through that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do some serious um, tweaking with BitTorrent. Like I said though earlier, you can really use any program, um, but if you wanna follow the video to a point, then use BitTorrent. So what you wanna do is go to Options and go to Preferences. So what you wanna do is, it's up to you about this kind of stuff here, um, but what you wanna do is make sure it automatically installs updates. You wanna make sure you're always up to date with these BitTorrent programs because they're always um, adding in options to speed up the downloading. All right, so you can pretty much skip the first three. Uh, those are pretty much your options, um, but go to connection, and this is where we'll start going some stuff. So what you wanna do is make sure that um, it's basically copied here. So make sure enable UPnP port mapping is enabled. Check off the one below that. And then also make sure add Windows firewall exception. If this one isn't checked, make sure that one's for sure checked because that one actually will greatly increase the speed if it's not checked because Windows will start allowing it easier. Now listening port, port is the use for incoming connections. Now your service provider may use, may block the port which will slow it down a lot. It's called throttling a lot of times or capping it. So a certain port that I like to use is 1136 but really just keep it above a thousand. If you get above a thousand it should work um, but I like 1136. Another good one is 12821 or 11092. Again, I'll have those ones as well in the description below. But you feel free to try any one you want. But if you want, try the one I have here. And like I said, make sure randomized port each start is unchecked. Next, go to bandwidth. So here we'll set up some rates. So for me, I like 670 as the upload rate. Um, I find that if I have a higher upload rate, the download rate is also pretty good. Um, also, you want to share the love. You know, you're downloading a torrent, you want to share it with the other people who are also downloading it. So 670, I think is a good rate um, for me. That's what I suggest. And download rate, set it to zero. Um, zero is unlimited, so you definitely want it to be unlimited. That way you can get as much as you can. All right, so make sure nothing here is checked except for apply rate limit to transport overhead. Make sure these two are unchecked. And then number of connections, these are the ones that I suggest. Really, guys, again, it's up to you. But if you really want some improvements, I would suggest just copying the ones I have here, so which is uh, maximum number of connections, which is uh, 1,890, and maximum number of connected peers per torrent, 2,329. Number of upload slots per torrent, three. And then also check off use additional upload slots if upload speed is 90%. Next, click on BitTorrent, which is right below it. Make sure everything is checked except for the last one, which is limit local peer bandwidth. So enable everything else. And then what you all also want to do is go to protocol encryption and click enabled as well as click off the allow incoming legacy connections. So what that does is basically encrypts the outgoing signal. Now by doing this, it kind of blocks your internet service provider from knowing that you're downloading a torrent. The reason is some internet service providers will notice you're downloading a torrent and they will kind of throttle you, which means they will limit your bandwidth and how much files you get because they don't want you using the whole network. So by enabling it, they can't tell it's in a torrent and you get your normal speeds. Next, go to queuing. And what you want to do now is go copy these numbers. I think these are the best numbers in my opinion. So go 21000 and then just copy those in. And once you're good there, and make sure everything's unchecked so nothing in this area is checked. Next, go to the advanced. Now, check off the little, um, little question or sorry, the little plus sign there, and you'll get some extra options. Go to the disk cache. Now, click right here, reduce number of usage when cache is not needed, and then click en enable cache and disk rights. 
uncheck the bottom two here, then check off enable caching of this reads, check off the next two, and then increase automatic cache size when cache is thrashing. Click that as well. So make sure those are copied over. Again, guys, I have all these things in the description below. Next, click on Advanced itself. Now, this is some real mods, and it's really up to you if you want to do them or not, but I would suggest it. Uh, like I said, if you want the best gains, this is the way to do it. And by the way, we're, all, we're getting there. We're almost done. So once you click Advanced, the first one is BT Allow Same IP. So it's the first one right at the top. Click that, and then it will be at false. What you want to do is click True. And when you click True, you can say True right there, and it will have an asterisk. Go to BT Band Ratio, type in 128, and click Set. And there you go. BT Band Threshold, change that to 3. Make sure BT Compact Allocation is false. BT Connect Speed, change that to 50. BT Connect No, to, BT no Connect to Services, right here. Make sure that is false. BT Pulse Interval, make sure that is 1200. So again, just type in 1200 and click Set. BT Save Resume Rate, change that to 120. And then scroll down to the D section. Go to Disco Max max right right here and change that to 32 and then scroll down to the GUI section go to GUI update rate and change that to 2000 just type in 2000 and put set scroll down to IP section IP filter enable change that to false then go to the net section Go to net dot max dot underscore half open and change that to 66. That one will dramatically increase your download speeds. And the last one, scroll down to the P's. Go to peer disconnect inactive interval and change that to 900. Now, once you've done all of these, click apply and then, then click OK. And then download the torrent or just continue on downloading the torrent you're currently downloading. And that is pretty much it. Now you, you should see an increase in speed within 20 minutes. Now you will notice when you click apply right away that, that that torrent will basically drop to zero. That's because it's basically restarting. So not restarting the whole download, just restarting the connection to download. So basically it will drop down very slow to basically zero and then it will kind of start going back up again. When it goes back up, then you should start seeing some increase in speed in a higher speed. So that's pretty much it guys. If you follow the video to a T, like I said earlier, put your result in the description below. I'm actually very curious to see if these tricks work just as well as they did for me, as well as people who are um, skeptical of trying it. Feel free to read the comments and see if other people had good results. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in my next video. If you have any comments or suggestions for a future video or any comments or questions about the current video in torrents in general, um, feel free to leave that below as well. Again, I will have all of the information in the description below as well as links um, to, to BitTorrent, about torrents, and I have a written version of what I just said all in the description below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for supporting, and I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker 0007, and I'm signing off.